If you're on the journey of building your own business, here are 12 exceptional Shopify store examples to give you a bit of inspiration. And I'll also give you some tips on how you can get your store on their level. Hi, I'm creative strategist Michelle Bally. I've helped countless small businesses create and optimize their Shopify stores. So in today's video, we're gonna be looking at some of the best stores out there and how you can apply these ideas to your own store. There are already set standards when it comes to how e-commerce sites are built. So look at what other brands are doing to follow best practices for design, UX, navigational flow, on-site marketing, copywriting, and photography. You don't need to recreate the wheel, but instead just get inspiration from other existing e-commerce stores, and that's going to save you some time and effort. So what I do when I'm creating an e-commerce store for a client is I look at what's already out there, but I also keep in mind that nothing truly great and memorable in this world is a copy. So let's just look at these stores as a baseline. In no particular order, let's hop into it. All right, so let's start with Spencer Badu. Spencer Badu is a gender neutral clothing label. His Shopify store is really well optimized for mobile shopping. So let's take a look at why that is. So as you can see, his website is optimized for mobile, meaning things are fitting and flowing really nicely on the screen. It's important to design mobile first. Designing mobile first means that you're starting off your designs by looking at it on a smaller screen and then looking at how it will appear on a desktop. This might feel backwards, but it is important because more and more people are using their phones to shop. To ensure that your website looks good on mobile, make sure that you're clicking this mobile view button right here as you're designing your store in Shopify. All right, so jumping back to Spencer's website, he includes an email signup form. It's also great that he includes only a few necessary fields, making the section as concise as possible, which is respectful of people's time when filling out the forms on mobile. And that's also gonna lessen the likelihood of people just getting frustrated and exiting out. All right, so let's go shopping. So. I'm gonna add this to the cart, and what I like is that he has a pop-up that allows you to tap to continue shopping. This makes it super easy for people on mobile to go back to the main shopping page. Now, this might seem like a simple addition, but the more seamless that you make your website with small additions, the longer you're gonna keep a customer on your online store. And the longer people are on your online store, there's a better chance of a customer seeing that purchase confirmation page. So I'm ready to make a purchase, so let's see how this checkout experience is. Okay, wow, so this is really easy to quickly update what's in my cart by number or just by completely removing the item. And I have many options to pay immediately or I can just continue to check out. And when I continue to check out, the form looks super simple and really easy to use. So the nice thing about Shopify is that most themes, if not all, come with a pretty standard and pretty seamless checkout experience. Whereas with other platforms, custom coding is involved, Shopify has this feature already built in. The importance of having an online store that's really easy to use on mobile can be the difference between a lost sale and a purchase. So Greenhouse Juice Co. sells healthy, sustainable juices and their website is super functional. So let's take a look at it. All right, let's go over here to navigation. So they're using sub navigation, which helps clean up the main navigation and not make it look too cluttered. And now I can choose to shop by category. Having intuitive navigation like this is extremely important in keeping people on your website longer. I know I've definitely rage quit a website because I just couldn't get to where I was going. So try using some of these common categories in your main nav. Use shop, about, contact, the search function, blog, and shopping cart. In your sub navigation, include product categories, different about topics like our story, FAQs and locations. And then the footer nav is traditionally saved for items like privacy policy, refunds and shipping, FAQs and wholesale inquiries. So a little bit of the drier stuff. Now delivery will keep customers engaged during social distancing. Delivery can be a logistical nightmare, both for the business and the customer. So they have done a really good job of just simplifying it here. They break down the process in detail and they have a zoning map and contact information for any questions. Now I'd like to see more about how they built their store. So I'm gonna go into an app called Shopify Inspector. This is a Google Chrome app that's free to install. And right off the bat, I can see that they're using an app called Lucky Orange. Lucky Orange is a Shopify app that gives you heat maps of where people are clicking and screen recordings of how people are using your website. You can literally see people shopping on your site with this app and it's gonna help you determine if you need to make any changes to your website. So you might be able to see why people are leaving your store 
or if people are searching for things you just don't carry, and if the checkout process is too long. When you get in front of the screen and start building your Shopify store, keep these tips in mind and make your store as functional as possible. All right, let's take a look at Half Moon. They sell yoga props and wellness accessories, and this store has done an amazing job of finding a niche category of products to sell. They went from the general topic of health and wellness, distilled it down to yoga, and then they boiled it down even further to props for yoga. Now, the result of this for any business is a loyal, engaged, and focused following. By sticking to a niche, they've also opened themselves up for opportunity to wholesale. You can see that they have a wholesale portal that is password protected. Wholesaling is a great way to diversify your revenues, so if you're looking to create a wholesale portal like this one, check out Shopify apps like Wholesaler and Wholesale Club. Okay, let's head over to Vitaly. Vitaly is a jewelry brand with experimental designs. Now, the reason that I wanted to visit this page is because they have stunning visuals. Look at these lifestyle photos. The styling, the lighting, choice of models, and the choice of set are all super well thought out. Look at these colors and the camera angles. They've even incorporated the use of video with special effects. Now, we all know that video keeps people engaged longer, so make sure that you're including video on your website. This video here is a lifestyle video, meaning the focus is on the feeling of the brand, rather than just shoving product imagery down your throat. The reason that this lifestyle content is so effective is because it allows a consumer's ego to identify with a brand's personality. This type of marketing is more complex and definitely more conceptual as opposed to rolling out a product demo video that you might find on the shopping channel. Their product photos are also amazing. It's hard to tell, but I believe they're using a mix of 3D rendering and photography. So all in all, storytelling through photography will not only increase your store's conversion rate, but a customer's loyalty and how they're gonna to relate to you as a brand. Silk and Willow is a sustainable wedding decor online store. One thing that they do super well is their level of customer service through customized orders. They have a separate page for custom orders, and the form includes space for customers to narrate what they need verbally and visually through the use of inspirational photos. So this solution of digitally intaking potential customers is a great experience for the client, rather than endless emails back and forth and games of phone tag. It's estimated that 85% of customer service interactions are automated. So if your brand is all about personal customer service, this would be a competitive advantage. Make sure that you're letting people speak to this by including a review page like Silk and Willow and also downloading a free review app from the Shopify app store. Harris Farm is a fresh grocery store based out of Australia. So I wanted to spotlight them because if they were in school, they would be an A plus student. Their e-commerce is an actual beast and they're ticking every single box. So first of all, they have a crazy robust search function with thousands of products. When I go ahead and search on their website, it doesn't feel overwhelming, which is definitely a hard thing to do, especially with that many SKUs. On top of their search function, they have their items really well organized in the main navigation. The magnitude of options still feels intuitive. If you have a ton of products and you want to make it intuitive, make sure that you plan out a site map before you start designing. A site map is a list of pages of a website, like a tree, with all the options that a user can take on their journey. Now, let's take a look at their store locations. So each of these are clickable and have specific details someone might be looking for, like hours, email, the address, and what specials are on. And as if it couldn't get any better, they are absolutely killing it with their content strategy. They have blog content and original recipes. If we click in on a recipe, it tells you the products you need to create the dish and a direct buy button right then and there. This method undoubtedly spikes sales in particular items. Let's navigate to the footer. On a high level, we can see they have a vast range of partners, a sustainability statement, delivery options, and they perform email marketing. So I bet now you can see why they're superstars in my books. They are such a well-rounded brand who obviously have the human resources to make this e-commerce site such a smooth running machine. Be sure to check out harrisfarm.com.au later and that'll give you some inspo for your own store. So Worth Loving is a clothing store that focuses on a community of spreading love. One thing that I noticed about this site is how cohesive the color palette is. So when I have color envy, I like to use a tool called Colorzilla, which helps me identify the color information on any given website. You can download this for free on the Google Chrome plugin store. Another way to create your website color story is through Color Scheme Designer 3. It gives you the flexibility to choose a color as a starting off point, and then based on the color theory, it will create a color scheme where all the colors go really nicely together. 
It even gives you a very modern looking website mock-up with your chosen colors. I'm also a big fan of the classic fonts that they use, and to be able to detect what font that they're using, download Font Ninja from Google Chrome App Store. It's also a free to use tool. Let's check out Package Free. I love it when a good brand gets rewarded for their efforts, and this brand gets tons of traffic organically. I'm using a Google Chrome app called Similar Web, which helps me see traffic insights for any website. They are consistently getting two to 300,000 visitors monthly, so obviously they're doing something right. So let's dive deeper into what that is. They're getting most of their traffic from direct and search. Direct means that people are typing in their brand name into Google. This indicates that they have a lot of returning customers and people already know who they are. But what really interests me is that it looks like they're using SEO really well. I can tell because a big chunk of their traffic, 32%, are finding them by search. So customers are typing in keywords into Google and they're landing on their page. Now, I'm curious to find out what keywords they're targeting. So let's head over to Moz's Keyword Explorer tool. When you're using Moz's Keyword Explorer tool, you can uncover what keywords other businesses are using. This will help you get a clear picture of your competition strategy, but that doesn't mean that copying their keywords will be right for your business. So back to it. I'm gonna drop in their website here, and we can see that they're ranking number one for all of these keywords. Let's go back over to their website to see where they're using the keyword package free, for example. I'm gonna hit Command F on my keyword and type in the word package free, which will bring up how many times it is on the page. So here on this product page, they use it four times. This store has 448 products, so if they're using it multiple times on each product, that's gonna be why they're ranking for these keywords. Let's do a little dance and hop back into Moz. The difficulty of these keywords are actually pretty high, which means that they have a lot of clout with Google. They're a trusted website in good standing with Google, and you can do that for your business too. You can take steps to increase your search engine optimization. Do your own keyword research by using Google Keyword Planner tool. Go to Get Search Volumes and Forecast and type in the words you think people are gonna be using to find the products that you're offering. Click Historical Metrics, pay attention to the Competition column and the Average Monthly Searches column. The sweet spot is finding a keyword with high average monthly searches and low competition. These are the types of keywords that are gonna give you a good chance of reaching the number one page on Google. Researching the right keywords will take a few hours of your time, but it's a worthy investment in attracting new customers. The Detox Market is a cult classic beauty store for health conscious shoppers, and they're doing subscription boxes like no other company. First of all, look at the sub branding. They've taken their recognizable logo and changed the font up a slight. Right off the bat, they have the value prop, green beauty delivered to your doorstep every month, and a call to action, get the September box. They use the next space to explain what you get in the box and its value, and they give you another chance to subscribe. And if that hasn't already convinced you enough, they introduce you to their plans available. They do a really good job of summarizing the difference between the plans and sometimes giving too much information in a small space can overwhelm a shopper. And I think they've done a really good job of just organizing this information really concisely. When it comes to subscription boxes, people tend to get anxious about cancellation policies. So they're transparent by explaining it front and center here. Then they continue to address any questions or concerns in an FAQ section. If you are looking to get into the subscription box game, make sure that you have a section to be able to address any doubts that a consumer might be having right then and there. The one thing that I would add here though are pictures of past boxes so that people know what they can expect to get. Subscription boxes are a good way to get semi-reliable recurring revenue and introduce your brand to a new customer. So be sure to check out detoxmarket.ca to see how they're doing it. KKW is Kim Kardashian's makeup line. Her Shopify store includes a section called Looks. This is such a valuable addition because it gives shoppers the feeling of scrolling through Instagram while shopping directly on her site. You can see finished looks on real people in the community and then go ahead and shop the look. Verticals that take many products and many steps to achieve a final outcome like cooking, home improvements, and fitness should include a section like this. Include a photo and a list of products to help increase order sizes. Okay, one more thing that this website does extremely well is that they employ the use of reviews. Now, we all know that reviews go a very long way. 87% of shoppers place as much trust in a product review as they would if their friend was recommending it to them. So putting in a few extra bucks to get your review section custom coded might pay off. And that's exactly what they did here. You can filter reviews by rating, whether it includes a photo or a video, how old the person is, 
what skin type they have, and even what skin tone they have. This is such a valuable tool that I would even bump this right up before the video, but I think Kim Kardashian's team knows what they're doing, so I'll leave it to them. Streetwear brand Better Gift Shop uses a minimalist approach. Now, I wanted to include this example because a lot of the sites that we've been looking at have been pretty heavily customized. Better Gift Shop is a very successful lifestyle brand with a pretty large cult following. And they're running their e-commerce store on a free theme called Debut. So I wanted to show you that you can build a successful e-commerce brand without spending thousands of dollars on all the bells and whistles. They have their entire product offering laid out simply on their homepage. And if we click into one of the products, you can see that their product pages are just as simple. They have a short and sweet product description, a product shot that you can zoom in on, and a buy button, and that's pretty much it. This kind of a design that airs on the simple side is a trend that's popping up specifically in the fashion space. So if you're considering a less is more approach, I would just say go for it. If you're gonna be carrying many brands, sort them as collections and then make them part of a sub navigation. Increasing the efficiency of the user's navigational flow will decrease your website's bounce rate. Parkland is a sustainable bag and accessory brand that uses recycled water bottles to create their products. They are absolutely killing it because their brand is centered around their sustainability story. And they use that messaging to target people who care about social good. I'm gonna head over into the about us section. And the first thing that I see is this really cheeky, engaging video that visually explains their products and how they're made all under 30 seconds. They clearly know that their audience are do-gooders and the kind of copy that they use like be a good apple and the information that they choose to share like their working conditions are all centered around this heroic brand image. So when you're deciding what kind of wording and what kind of messaging to incorporate, consider brand personality archetypes. Common ones are the hero, the explorer, the rebel, and the regular guy. To figure out which your brand falls under, I'll have a link in the description box below for a full list of archetypes. Follow these tips to communicate a brand story that aligns with your audience's mindset. This will increase the space that your brand takes up in a niche community. Marketing is a deep topic, so if you're interested in learning more, register using the link below to gain access to a free 30-minute webinar that will help you level up your marketing by changing the way you think of your store's marketing funnel. Learn how to go from first day to first sale in this free training course. Hopefully you found this video inspirational. If you have your store ready or semi-ready, drop it in the comment section below and I will take a look, give you some feedback and get you on the road to success. Don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on any more tips and tactics on how you can grow your online business. Here at Learn With Shopify, we're a channel for small business owners with big plans. I'm your host, Michelle Bally, and I will see you next time on Learn With Shopify.